Hey everyone, my name is Biz and welcome to your ninth flowchart tutorial. Now in the previous couple of tutorials, I had been going over loops and this is another extension of the loops. So in this example, I would be drawing the flowchart to calculate the sum of digits of a number. So sum of digits means suppose there is a number which is say 135. then after inputting 135 and executing this flowchart, I'll get the output 1 plus 3 plus 5, which is equal to 9. Right, so whatever are the digits of the number, I'll add all the digits and display in the end. So that's what the functionality of this flowchart really is. So let's just see how it's done. So at first, we start and then we set the initial values for the different variables and then after that we ask the user to enter some number so suppose the user enters 165 and then after that we do this in the process box d equals n mod 10 i hope you know what is mod for you know so what i do here is i divide n n means the number that is input by the user which is in our case 165 so d equals 165 divided by 10 and then whatever is the remainder of that division that remainder would be stored in d right so if we if we do 165 mod 10 then what would be the remainder the remainder would obviously be 5 right because 160 we can get by multiplying 10 with 16 and then 5 is left so 5 will be stored in d and then we do this sum equals sum plus d so whatever is the initial value of sum we add d with it and then we store the result in sum itself so the initial value of sum is 0 so 0 plus 5 is 5 and we stored the 5 in sum and then after that we do n equals n by 10 so initially n was 165 right and then we used n mod 10 to get the remainder and after summing it we do n by 10 n by 10 what would be the result 165 by 10 it would be this right 165 by 10 would be 16 so now this 16 will be stored in n so previously n was 165 now n is 16 now with this 16 i will enter this decision box and i will check whether 16 is greater than 0 or not so if 16 is greater than 0 then i will follow the yes path and i will go here so what i do now d equals 16 mod 10 so what is 16 mod 10 16 mod 10 is 6 then I add this 6 with sum. So the current value of sum is 5. So 5 plus 6 is 11. And we stored this 11 in sum itself. Then after that, we again do this. n equals n by 10. So current value of n is 16. 16 by 10 is equal to 1. And we stored this 1 in n. Then after that, we again check whether n is greater than 0 or not now the current value of n after this step is 1 so 1 is obviously greater than 0 so we again follow the yes path and we go here and we do this d equals 1 mod 10 so 1 mod 10 is what 1 right so this 1 so 1 mod 10 is 1 so this 1 would be stored in d and then again sum equals sum plus d now sum is 11 right now so 11 plus 1 is 12 so this 12 is stored in sum and then after that we do this again n equals n by 10 so the current value of n is 1 so 1 by 10 is what what is the result of this division is 0 right because well, 0 into 10 is 0 and remainder 1 so that is the division of 1 by 10 if we follow integer rules then after that we check this whether n is greater than 0 or not now this time n is not greater than 0 because n itself is 0 so we break out from the loop 
and we display sum. So what happens is in each iteration we are extracting the remainder by modding it with 10. We are extracting each remainder of the number starting from this portion. We are extracting first 5 then we are adding this 5 with sum and then again we are reducing the number from 165 to 16 by dividing it with 10 and then after that we again do 16 mod 10 and we extract the second digit which is 6 and we add this 6 to sum so now sum becomes what 11 and then again we reduce the 16 by 16 mod 10 which is equal to 1 now in the next iteration we again do this 1 mod 10 which is 1 then we add this 1 with sum so 11 plus 1 is 12 which is the result and we again do 1 by 10 which is 0 so you have to break out from the loop and at last we display the sum and stop so job done so this is the simple algorithm to get the sum of digits of a number so i hope you understood that and that's probably it for this tutorial. Hope to see you guys in the next one.